Internet, good morning. This is Daybreak Sun 48. I'm back at you guys with a haul video. This is actually going to be the last haul for the month of July in the year 2016. Super excited about this because I've gotten some awesome stuff. And you guys saw a couple of these items already because I just couldn't wait to review it. So here we go. Let's actually start with that. So the first couple of items that you are going to see, they were already reviewed on my channel. It is none other than the Power Rangers Legacy Collection 6-inch action figures. So we have Hurricane Red, Yellow, and Blue, also known as Ninja Storm, which is Red Wind Ranger, Yellow, and Blue. So we have all three of them, and no, they're not in package because, like I said, I reviewed them and they're actually at my desk right now and I'm just having so much fun posing them. So I got the whole case, so I got one of each of these guys right there. I also got Mighty Morphin Red. And we get Mighty Morphin Green. And now you guys can clearly see this one has like actual tape on there. It's because this is the one that I actually reviewed. I'm not sure where I want to put these guys yet, so that's why I put them back in package. But I definitely will be displaying these guys. That's why I just didn't even bother putting the Ninja Storm cast back in. And then in a case, just letting you know, you get another Green Ranger. So this one's mint on card. And I plan to have like a little display for like all my mint on card stuff. So yeah, he will stay in package. So you get two Green Rangers, one Mighty Morphin Red, and then the Ninja, Ninja Storm cast if you buy the whole case. So that's pretty cool. All right, up next, let's move away from Power Rangers for a sec and talk about some Marvel Legends. Now, like I showcased in my last haul, there's a lot of awesome sales going on right now at like Kmart, Toys R Us, Walmart, everywhere. Why? Because they're trying to get rid of the old stuff so that they can bring in like, for example, the new Spider-Man wave and also the new X-Men wave. Now with that said, this one I found at Kmart for $13. That's pretty freaking amazing. $13 for a Venom figure, uh, you can't beat that. Now I do have a problem with the whole body sculpt that they were using here, but that face totally makes up for it. So uh, yeah, just happy to have this one on hand. Alright, moving on, let's move away from the, I guess, the local figures and move to a import. Now, for those of you guys who have been with me for some time now, you know that I have this figure and you know I have two copies of this figure. But when I saw this one at my local Mitsua, which is like a Japanese restaurant, uh, Japanese food court slash Japanese bookstore, etc. Um, I had to pick this one up. It is none other than the original Kirito from SAO. Now this is from the good folks at Figma and yeah, he was just sitting there for $50 flat. Now, if you go on eBay, Amazon, etc., you will see that he goes from anywhere from 70 and up, so I had to pick this one up. And another reason why I picked this one up is because the one that I had, unfortunately, I broke one of the swords by the hilt. I broke um, by accident when I was moving, in the process of moving. Uh, I dropped the figure and the whole face right here, or actually the hair piece, it got really messed up so I had to go in there with paint and kind of cover it up but just knowing that I damaged the figure that badly I knew I had to get a replacement for it eventually so when I saw this guy there I had, knew I had to pick this up and no it's not a bootleg I did my research and the store there I forgot what it's called but it's an actual store that carries this merchandise so that's that. So pretty awesome that I was able to find it. And uh, he is going to stay in package. The one that I damaged, it's actually at my desk right now. And I'm just having fun with it, pretty much. Okay, so there you go. That is my one import for this haul. And then the last two items that I picked up, I have to give a 
big, big, big shout out to my friend Dave. Uh, he went to San Diego Comic Con 2016 this year and he was able to pick up two of the exclusives that I was really, really looking forward to. So, with that being said, Dave, if you had a YouTube channel, I would definitely put in the comments or description box down below, but since you don't have one, thank you so much. I know you watch some of my videos, so hopefully you'll watch this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I definitely owe you one for, for New York Comic Con. All right, so here we go. The first item being a Power Rangers item. It is none other than the Legacy Collection Red Ranger. And in, as you guys can clearly see, it still has this paper wrap. But we don't need the paper wrap, do we? Mm, I don't think so. So let's take a look. It is none other than the exclusive from Bandai, and it is the Legacy Collection Red Ranger. Now, for those of you, get, for those of you guys who did not watch uh, MMPR Toys uh, review on this guy, as you guys can clearly see, it's the same Red Ranger that we just got in the Legacy line. As a matter of fact, let me just put them side by side. So there you go. It's the same exact figure. Only difference being this guy ha is made from a translucent plastic while he is just the regular red plastic. Another major difference is the fact that we get the power sword and the sword for the mega zord. So that's pretty hype. So super excited that he was able to pick this guy up for me. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna... What do you guys think? Should I review this guy? Yes? No? Leave it in the comment section down below and we'll go from there. So I was able to get this guy, and he, I love it. I mean, this is standard packaging, like all the other ones. However, this thing right here makes it so much cooler. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, this is bad as the cover right here. Give me a sec, I'm trying to do this on camera. Harder than it looks. So there you go. Yeah, that makes this thing look so much better. And as you guys can clearly see, it has that sticker, 2016 San Diego Comic Con, Comic Con exclusive. So there you go. All right, and then the last or last figure from Dave is the following. The other exclusive that I was really looking forward to is none other than Old Man Kenobi from the Star Wars Black Series lineup. And the cool thing about this one, you can open this up, and I'll just do it real quickly for you. If you, um, I guess, press down on these gold pieces right here. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan is failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of the Tsar II unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. And there you have it, guys. That is freaking epic. We have Old Man Kenobi here with two different lightsabers. We have this nice, awesome display piece right here that has some built-in electronics and sound. So that is pretty freaking epic. Um, yeah, this one must have taken him some time to get, but I am very fortunate to have this guy pick it up for me. And so I have this one in my collection. So there you go. Okay, and the one last figure that I want to show off... Since, like I mentioned in my past haul video, I am in the process of collecting the best X-Men figures that I can possibly get my hands on to make an awesome display. Once, obviously, I get the whole X-Men wave in from Big Bad Toy Store. So, what other characters do I need to get my hands on? Well, I got Storm last week, so when I went to eBay and saw that this guy was selling for like $15, I knew I had to have him. It is none other than the Toy Biz Beast. Now this guy is freaking amazing. He has so much articulation, so 
much sculpt and awesome paint, awesome shading. This guy is a phenomenal beast and in my opinion, I think this is the best one out there. So I had, knew I had to pick this one up. He actually comes with the like the lab coat, but I took it off because it was a little kind of grimy. So with that said, now my X-Men, I guess, display is one step closer to being finished. Damn you, Hasbro. I need the X-Men wave. Where the hell is it? But anyways, guys, there you have it. That was my haul for this past week. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. Like I said, please leave in the comment section down below what you would like to see me review. And I will definitely do that first. Once again, guys, I always say this, but I really do mean it. And that's why I keep saying it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. You guys really mean the world to me. I love having discussions with you guys. And, and it's just awesome that, yeah, uh, we have this huge community. So once again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you saw, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you really like what you saw here, please share it so I can have more friends on YouTube. Well, there you have it, guys. Until next time, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.